Mavericks looking to win back-to-back -back games following a six-game losing skid. Warriors have lost four straight against the Mavs by an average of 32 and a half points. The thing is, Steph Curry didn't play in any of those games. And Luka went for triple doubles three out of the four times. Draymond Green just charging to the basket. Full go right here. Slams that thing home. He had 11 points. Hadn't been in double digits much this season. Doncic for three. Way out there. Ties it at 34. Sixth half the season where he's had at least 20. The rest of the Mavs have gone by in one. He would only finish with 27. Steph Curry dropped 20 and a half. Uh, 15 of those came in the first quarter. So that's his 27th double-digit scoring quarter tops in the NBA. Uh, he has help in this one, though. Maybe a, a, a temporary splash brother, a fill-in. Um, Kelly Oubre, 22 points in the half. 23 is a season high for a game. 150 points scored most in a half this season by two teams, 76-74. So the Mavs are actually up a bucket. The zinger comes through. Chris Epps, poor Zingas. He had 25 in this game. We're still even at 87, right? Tight fit, feels good. Oubre comes down. Oh, my goodness. Draymond Green, one of his 15 assists. That's one shy of his career high. And then Curry, Oubre. Here's a guy who started the season like one of 24 from three. Yeah, it was Seven terrible. of 10 in this one. So he was cooking. Curry, Draymond. Draymond. So now they're up 14 after three quarters, and they put 110 on the board. Defense optional for Coach Carlisle's club. Oubre. Little handle, yeah. Bill Self taught him how to do that in Lawrence. He's going to drain another one here. So 23 was the previous uh, season. How about we go for 40? Big. Warriors go for 147. Win by 31. 13th time they've gone for 140. Last one here, guys. This is from Anastasia uh, Morrison, a member of the Rams softball team. Anastasia? My question for you, Stephen A. Smith, is do you think Steph Curry will be able to take the Warriors back to the NBA Finals. Yes. Perfect. Yes. I got it. I got it. Yes. And more yes. The greatest shooter ever seen in the human race. The greatest shooter in all of mankind, Steph Curry. Once he gets Klay Thompson back, a top five shooter ever in the game as far as I'm concerned. Yes. The Golden State Warriors, before all is said and done, will not only get back to the NBA Finals eventually, they will win another championship Probably a couple of more. If LeBron's got four going for five, Jordan's got six, Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, had five, I think Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green and the crew are going for five championships. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I definitely expect them to win at least one, probably two, eventually. I think it's possible that they win another championship. In fact, I bet money on it. They're good. They're not done winning. They're going to win one more championship. They have a great front office. Steph Curry is an all-time great. Klay Thompson, as you mentioned, Stephen A., is one of the greatest shooters in history. And when he's healthy, a great two-way player. Draymond Green has revolutionized the game along with Steph as much as anyone other than Steph. Mm -hmm. I think they got one more in him. I'll just remind everyone. They were lucky to win one before KD got there. Whatever. They were lucky to get by LeBron one time. Kyrie and Kevin Love and got I'll, hurt, mm. and they still went six games. That was they were lucky. And I remind Stephen you of this, man. They're good. They got one more in them, not more. I remind you of this: James Wiseman is only a rookie. This brother playing in the middle alongside Draymond Green, he is no Andrew Bogut or Jaja Pajulia. James Wiseman is a different shoot. animal. <laughs> And when he is there, shoot 40% from three-point range, by the way. When he's, he's there with like Draymond that. and the no crew. No one told me he can shoot you the got three. Steph, and you got Steph and Clay. Yes, they can win. Yes. All right. I want to stay Ooh, with this subject. Wiseman hitting shots. Of the NBA fellows. But I just quickly want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, James Dunn, Antoine Lewis for making this happen today. Our HBCU yes. tour. Stephen A., I understand why you love your university so much. I mean, the elements, the messages they sent, it's so heartfelt. And I know you're, you're giving back just as much. But the students and the step team and the marching band, it, it really made today's show special. So thank you, Winston-Salem State. And I want to close out the show with a topic I asked you guys off the top. And that's the Brooklyn Nets and what they did last night night, right? Mm -hmm. Harden, KD, both put up 20 plus. Kyrie putting on a show, he put up 39. Stephen, I'll ask you this. This version of the Brooklyn's Nets, who we saw last night, can they win the chip this year? I think it's going to come down to the Tampa Bay defense. Um, 
it's a fast defense against a fast offense, but it's just how much can their defense slow down on Kansas City offense. Devontae, appreciate you being on the show, my brother. Very, very proud of you and what you've been able to accomplish in your career at Alabama, specifically this past season. I'm looking at that, that footage from Nick Saban hugging you. Now, obviously, I know Nick Saban a little bit because I've spoken at the university several occasions. But to see the level of affection and appreciation he has for you, he's had a lot of great players, and I'm sure he has a lot of relationships with pretty much all of those players. But there seemed to be something a little extra special when it came to you. What is it about you that has Nick Saban glowing about you so much? Because it clearly just ain't your level of production because he's had a lot of people producing for him. Could you talk about your relationship with Nick Saban and what's made it so special? Um, we have a great relationship just from when we when he first started recruiting me. Uh, he just took a chance with me. Small kid from Amy, Louisiana. Not the biggest. Uh, he just gave me the opportunity to come to the University of Alabama and do the things that I do. And just him giving me that chance, I'm grateful for it. And just our relationship has just built since then with him just allowing me to be a part of the leadership group and just being a leader on the team and just helping do whatever I can to help the team get to where we want it to be. Devontae, focusing on the Super Bowl for a second, Watching you play, you not only have great obvious pass-catching ability, but you're a great route runner, and you elevate under the, biggest, under the spotlight, right? The bigger the circumstance, the more you can be relied upon. When you look at the Super Bowl, a lot of guys can pa catch passes in this Super Bowl. A lot of guys, both sides, both teams. And a lot of guys can perform under pressure. Who do you have your eye on where you say him? That guy's going to be the difference maker. Um, I'll probably say Mike, Mike Evans. Just um, with everything with him, just continuing to be that big play threat. Um, I think that he's going to have a huge role in this just with everybody that's been trying to take him out of the game and just making somebody else do it. And I feel like just this is going to be the game where he, he's going to really come into play and he's going to make a big impact. Devontae, before we let you go, let me just say again, congratulations on an incredible season. Can't wait to see you on the next level where you land. Uh, but tell us what you're doing with Auto Trader. Uh, Auto Trader is the go-to source when car shopping and with everything going on, me being busy with training and rehabbing, they make finding a car a whole lot easier. And probably my first big purchase is going to be a car. So them making it a lot less stressful on me, um, I'm excited to be partnering with them. Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. Devontae, thank you for the time. Thanks for having me. All right. We continue, fellas, here as we're honoring HBCUs on Wednesdays during Black History Month and Winston-Salem State, Stephen A's alma mater. So, Stephen A and Max, I have some questions for you from students. Let me get this first one here. Mm -hmm. This is from Carson Todd. He's a member of the Rams football team. Carson, what you got? Stephen A. Smith, I have a question. Will Patrick Mahomes become the greatest quarterback of all time? It looks that way. It looks that way. But I'm not about to give it to him just because of his first three years in the National Football League. Sustained excellence matters. You might be all-world player right now, but if you just do it for a couple of years, that ain't good enough. Sustained level of excellence. That's when you're mentioned as the greatest of all time. He's got a chance because clearly he looks like the best ever now, but I still want to see him do it for years and years to come. Whether or not I agree with Tony Romo that it would be impossible for Mahomes to catch Brady if he loses this Super Bowl, certainly if he wins the Super Bowl, he's got a real shot. Because let's not forget, if not for a pre-snap penalty in the AFC Championship game, there's a good chance Mahomes could be working on a three-peat right now in his first three seasons. Uh, Stephen A., the only kind of period of dominance I can look at at other sports and say he's doing it like that was when Jordan came into his own and had a team around him. You just like the Bulls every year because they had Jordan and he had other great players around him. That's where Mahomes is right now. He's the only football player I've ever felt this way about. Even if he doesn't wind up with seven championships, if he can beat Brady in this mm. one, he has a hell of a shot to be remembered as the GOAT one day. Yeah, Brady's played in 10 Super Bowls. That's a lot. We'll keep it moving here. This one's from Joshua <laughs> Flowers, also on the Rams football team. What's up, Joshua? Joshua. 